Oh, gross. Oh, <laughs> gross. It's making life musical, hey. So I've never been known for having the best sense of fashion, but this is actually a fashion major. <laughs> My friend Leah is a fashion major, and I had an idea that drum corps, from what I've seen, they wear all kinds of weird outfits, so I don't really know much about that world. I really haven't seen much at all, so I wanted to go through some today and check it out. You have some experience with drum corps, right? Like their uniforms and stuff? What are your thoughts? Like, you've seen it before. Yeah, I try to go to a drum corps show every year. My favorite thing to do when I go to a show is I try not to look up anything about the shows before I'm there. And then once they come out on the field, I try to guess their theme based on their uniforms and their costumes. Another one of my favorite things that a lot of them have been doing is they start in like one uniform and then throughout the show they kind of like take off different pieces and they end in something completely different. That sounds um, dangerous. No. <laughs> it's so cool. What I did is I just googled most ridiculous drum corps uniforms. Which one do you want to go through first? Worst or best? The worst. The worst. Okay. Worst blue coats 2017. Oh wait, I know exactly the uniform they're talking about. I think it's terrible. It's oh, like really? the onesie, the white and the yellow with like the blue squiggle on it. Let's find it. Is it this? Oh, that's not the year I was thinking. This one's fine. This one's fine. It just looks simple. I guess maybe they're talking about the uh, s the suspenders right there. Maybe it that does, looks goofy. Like as far as showiness goes, it was pretty boring. But from a distance, all the like stark white looked really cool. And I think if I remember correctly, their color guard, yeah, they're in like. Oh, they're in nothing. They're in like little tops, little shorts, suspenders. I kind of understand why that would be considered really bad because I wouldn't want to wear that you know I think maybe they look so it looks like they took off a tuxedo yeah and they're just running around it looks very unfinished like maybe if they had sleeves or something I don't know it does look too casual like it's just like a t-shirt look at their um, uniforms from the year before these are the ones I was thinking of I hate okay. these it's just like a little squiggly line yeah but it's like a full-on like bodysuit and this is the year that they won uh -huh. and I think this is the sort of thing where like from far away visually it was super cool and it was kind of like what is this and the colors it's like stark white and stark yellow but like up close you're like what see she are you wearing she knows how to think about it I just know that looks goofy and so that's look, why you're good here. they look very like tight it's just a lot to look at but one thing is it's not very traditional marching band like when yeah. I think of marching band I don't think of this. I think this is more like a I'm about to go out on the town and <laughs> just a, what are you wearing and just a really weird thing. Next on this Reddit uh, page says Madison Scouts 2017. Like Whoa! This I isn't bad. This. No, this is so cool. This is so I remember this show too. I think like the drama here is in I uh, love this. And the thing I kind of like the Madison Scouts, they're all boys, right? Yeah. That's like but their thing. You know, they just made a rule where they're boys and girls now. Interesting. Yeah, they open that up. I, 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 I whatever it was, I it loved it. It was really that. cool. I loved it, and I like it. I kind of like it too, like personally, when you can't really tell the difference between who's in color guard and who's like a musician, because they're all oh, yeah. so. Because I just think it adds to the show, and this is definitely a drama show moment. I'm in love with that. But that like, should not be considered a worst. No, and you're putting on a show. So like, why not go all out? You know. Next, Oregon Crusaders, 2016. Oh, gross. Oh, <laughs> gross. It's bad. I feel like maybe the concept started being No, creative, no, this is a terrible concept. I'm trying concept. to give them a positive. No. Listen, let me tell you exactly what this is. This is a tree. <laughs> That's but it. But it's like a dead That's tree. That's not creative. It's a dead tree. Even like down to the feet. When What's at the top? I don't understand what that is. There's like a little star thing. Can you look up the show theme? Yeah, let's do it. I think some people try really hard to be like really conceptual and really like Hunted. Hunted? Okay. Yikes. So the marchers had to be trees. What did the color guard look like? I hope they were deer. I really hope they were deer. Oh look, here's a group of them all together. It's just a lot. Like, can you imagine walking around? It? Oh, yeah, that's really it's gross. Terrible. And it doesn't help with like the shakos either. I'm blown away. I can't believe- This is terrible. The thing about that is somebody like literally sat down and like, you know what would be great? Let's make this. <laughs> Do you know how many people that probably had to go through to get approved? Like, and someone had to make that? Oh my god. I want to see the color guard, but I can't find them. Maybe they don't have color guard. Well, maybe their color guard wasn't memorable that year because there's no pictures of them. I hope that they don't and then they can just flame us in the comments. Of course you don't know. I can't believe you don't know the Oregon Crusaders don't have a color guard. Sorry. 
Glassman 9293 is often cited as the ugliest uniform ever. We'll be the judge of that. Oh. What? It's like Barney. Oh, this is old. Oh, it, it is like Barney. Wow. I don't know if it's bad. It's just unfortunate. What's okay. on their heads? Those are like the old school fedoras that they used to wear and then a purple hat. But yeah, the color guard looks like Barney, first of all. And then everybody else, I don't know what they're going for, but very world championship. Princessy. Is drum corps like you always get into the world championships? Or, I don't know. Well, whatever, they're here, so that's good. <laughs> we're about to be roasted for our lack of drum corps knowledge. We're fans, we're not experts. I'm not even like that big of a fan. I'm a fan. You can't say that when you're making these videos. <laughs> I mean, I, I appreciate it, I just don't it's understand cool. it. So now we finish off the worst. You know, we did a couple of those. Let's go through these best and we can compare. So to me, worst of all time is definitely the tree because that is absolutely that ridiculous. Was really bad. Uh, this says blue coats 2013-2015. Yeah. See, so, I think that's just like traditional. That's. Like I think it's kind of classy. Sleek. It looks very good. I think those uh, hats look epic. I love like, that. I, I imagine like riding into mm -hmm. battle on that, you know. And then obviously, I think the blue coats are just really good at presenting themselves in general, you know. But they were also on the list as having one of the worst. Yeah, that's but I, shocking. We both thought that that wasn't really that bad. No. The Academy 2015-2016. Ooh. I, I love a good... I don't like it. Double-breasted coat. I like it. I don't even... But see, I um, like it because it looks like they should be waiters. Waiters? Yeah, like the like things waiters. you go waiting in no, the water No, a waiter with? at a fancy restaurant. Oh, okay. Doesn't it look like they should be bringing you like yeah, a Yeah, and they could use the symbols <laughs> and like your steak, sir. I don't like the purple tie. It doesn't match anywhere. No, and I don't like whatever's at the bottom of their coats. Is it music? Or is uh, it just silver? No, that's just silver. Oh yeah, that's Yeah, tacky. I don't understand that. that was, I don't think this is one of the best of all time. No, I don't But so. it's something to look at. It's, I, it's not as good as the blue coats. Because no. if they're going for classy, they did it wrong. But it's crazy to think about the blue coats costume from just a few years ago to what it is looking like now. Like that's yeah, crazy and classy. That's true. And I tend to like the more traditional looking uniforms. Like I think it like he said, like it's just classy. And that's part of like the show to me. And I like the ones that like go out and reach for it. Like that's the really tree thing, <laughs> the tree thing would be so cool if it was executed well, you know, things like that, like when done well, will blow you away. The next best list says the Cadets, original 2015 black. Oh, okay. This is the most simple thing ever. But see, I love that. I'm pretty sure this is exactly what my band's uniform was, except it was orange and black. Ugh. Yeah. I like, it's, it's sleek. Yeah. It doesn't like do it for me. I, mean, like, I don't feel like it's very special. I don't know, I feel like you could order that out of a catalog. I'm also terrified that these ones that we're actually having into the Google are wrong. <laughs> and everybody's like, actually they were these in the 2016 year. But I don't care people. This video is not that deep, we're just looking at clothes here. Yeah, come on. The next on the best, Blue Devils 2011. The Blue Devils are all over this list. That was, this is the first time they've been on the list. Blue right? Devils? What was? Blue oh, coats. Blue Coats. Oh, big fan. <laughs> Alright, anyway. This is cool. Yeah, I like the Blue Devils. There's a lot of lines going on. I like it when they have the white line on the side of their leg, because then when they're marching, it's like a super cool visual effect. Yeah. Today. I think it looks sharp, and I love the color blue. Blue Coats is interesting, because it's a blue coat, and this they're the sticking... This the Blue Devils. What? This no, it's not. This is the Blue Devils. No, you're kidding. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine. Anyways, like I was saying, these are the Blue Devils. And uh, they look really good in this. They do. <laughs> they do look really good. The All right. Theme. And we also have uh, Blue Devils 2014. Are you sure it's the Blue Devils? Yes, Blue Devils. Ooh. So they're still very blue. There's some red in there. I like this. I feel like when you're walking this way, it'll be all black and then you can do a turnaround exactly. and it'll be all blue and that transition is always really cool and even the inside of their little hip drop cape thingy is red so anytime they turn or something you're gonna uh, get that yeah. flash red and then they have the blue feather in their plume i hate these hats what's going on with the hats the, the little shakers? square thing yeah i never have to wear i'm a tuba player i don't like that it looks kind of like a speaker it doesn't bother or me like either. a like a bullhorn you know? i think they were just trying to make it special but it was not necessary why don't you just go to Google and type in like drum corps uniforms and see, we'll just go through. Whoa. That's Carolina, that's Carolina Crown from last year. Oh, I love that one. That's the, that cool? I've seen Charlie in that on yeah, his Instagram. I Our think, friend Charlie Mercer, I have an interview with him on this channel. Go check that out. I think they have like the coolest, coolest uniforms. And their themes every year I feel like are just solid. What was their theme for this year? Beast. I oh, love that. Oh, that was that. this one. Yeah, Beast. That's fantastic because look at the fire and the... 
the stomach area. Look at their uniform so for the year before, because I want you to see the shake out, because I thought it was the coolest thing. See, and but I will say, this could have been just as bad as the tree one if it was done poorly. So that's why I kind of like these kind of uniforms. Look at their shakos, they're like see-through. What the heck? Isn't that cool? Oh, that's weird. And they're kind of like a weird shape. It's, is? Is that the theme? Yeah. As far as like it the is, is? uniform goes, eh, like, okay, it's fine. But that's the coolest shako I've ever seen. This week's shout out goes to Daniel Harrison. He says, it's all very exciting, but what was the best campus that you believe will help you further your career as a musician? And of course, this was uh, having to do with my last video where I went and toured those several colleges. And you know, I answered him down below. If you want a shout out in my next video, comment down below and maybe I'll pick you. So that was our intro into drum corps uniforms. If you'd like to know more, we can make a more in-depth video. Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned that you might hate us for our lack of knowledge. And I think she knew more than me, and I'm supposed to be the music guy. Whatever we missed, let us know down in the comments, please. Go check out Leah's channel. I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching this video. Go make life musical, and I'll see you in the next one. I wanted to do the outro. Go ahead. Thanks for watching this video. Go make life musical, and I'll see you in the next one. It's making life musical, hey. Also, don't forget to comment down below if you'd like a shout out in my next video. You say that now. Yeah, but I'll have to do that later. Special thanks to Leah who commented on my last video, who no, comments she, on all my videos. She's never gonna get a comment. And she she's, never gets a shout out. Never gonna get one.